Based on the text, how would Graeber and One Girl, text 2, most likely respond to the conventional wisdom presented in text 1? Text 1. Conventional wisdom long held that human social systems evolved in stages, beginning with hunter-gatherers forming small bands of members with roughly equal status. The shift to agriculture about 12,000 years ago sparked population growth that led to the emergence of groups with hierarchical structures, associations of clans first, then chiefdoms, and finally bureaucratic states. So text 1 highlights how human social systems evolved in stages, and in a linear progression, where there were first associations of clans, then chiefdoms, and then bureaucratic states. Text 2. In a 2020 book, anthropologist David Graeber and archaeologist David Wengrow maintain that humans have always been socially flexible, alternately forming systems based on hierarchy and collective ones with decentralized leadership. The authors point to evidence that as far back as 50,000 years ago, some hunter-gatherers adjusted their social structures seasonally, at times dispersing in small groups but also assembling into communities that included esteemed individuals. So text 2 highlights that human social systems were flexible, where they switched between different ones, sometimes based on hierarchy and other times on collective ones with decentralized leadership. So option A says, by conceding the importance of hierarchical structures systems, but asserting the greatest significance of decentralized collective societies. This is incorrect, because text 2 does not discuss how the greater, there's a greater significance of decentralized collective societies. Instead, it discusses how human social society, social systems have been flexible. So A is incorrect. B. By disputing the idea that development and social st structures have followed a linear progression through distinct stages, this seems to be correct because text A says that human social systems evolved in linear progression, whereas text 2 says that th their social systems have been flexible where they switch between different systems. So B seems to be the correct answer. C. By acknowledging the hierarchical roles likely weren't par a part of social systems before the rise of agriculture, this is incorrect because text 2 does not say that hierarchical roles weren't part of the social system before the rise of agriculture. Instead, it points to the fact that there might have been hierarchical roles before the rise of agriculture. So C is incorrect. D. By challenging the assumption that groupings of hunter-gatherers were amongst the earlier f earliest forms of social structure, this is incorrect because the focus of text 2 is how human social systems have been flexible, not on how the groupings of hunter-gatherers were among the earliest forms of social structure. So D is incorrect, and the correct answer is B.